Hey guys, did you watch the Champions League final last night? I'm sure you did. So let me just dive right into it. What's that famous saying? Um, if you can't beat them in this sport, play them in another sport, right? That's exactly what Sergio Ramos did last night. Uh, he couldn't beat Mo Salah or even have control of him in the game of football. So, what does do? Play WWE. A perfect arm lock leading into a crossbody slam and Mo Salah breaks his shoulder. At least that's the initial verdict. Um, he has been taken tests and depending on the results of this test, he is doubt for the FIFA World Cup as well. Yes, so this happened in the 30th minute of the final and I'm sure Real Madrid must have uh, looked at the previous game against Roma for Liverpool where when Mo Salah isn't playing, Liverpool are not the same team. You get to control the game and you get to win against them and all that. So, till the 30th minute, Liverpool were playing really aggressive, really brilliant football. They were out of the blocks real quick. They were pressing Real Madrid. Real Madrid barely had any chances except the one where uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Benzema both were off sides. Uh, they didn't even add a shot on target ex- other than that. And Liverpool were really testing the Real Madrid defence. They had a few good chances, a uh, few saves by Kelo Navas. The one from Trent Alexander-Arnold was really brilliant. And yeah, Liverpool were dominating the game till the 30th minute where Sergio Ramos decided that he himself will win the Champions League for Real Madrid and that's what he did in a way. After Salah's injury, Lalana came on for him and the game had slowly died down even because of the uh, sadness related to Mo Salah's injury. And soon after, another blow for the flow of the game was Danny Kabahal's injury where even he looked like a doubt for the World Cup. I think he got a clip on his heel from Liverpool defender but uh, he has a recurring problem with his calf, thighs and so we don't know what the problem is yet but yeah even he is a doubt doubt for the World Cup and yeah he was out of the Champions League final and by the 40th minute we had two substitutions one from each team but from that point on Real Madrid started dominating the game more and had a few good chances towards the end of the first half the best one falling for Risco where he hit the crossbar from a volley it was a tough volley didn't have time to control it in a way. But yeah, Real Madrid came really cool, close and uh, Liverpool were lucky to get into the uh, changing rooms at half time with the score nil nil. The start of the second half was actually even more exciting. Both teams were going for it. Real Madrid were more confident and were dominating the possession. At one point in the first half, they had over 65% possession. But yeah, in the second half, they were dominating position, but Liverpool weren't holding back either. They were countering very, very well with their own high speed plays. And the match looked pretty even until a moment of madness from Loris Carries. Uh, he collected the ball really properly, routine collection of the ball, and uh, he decided to distribute it to Dejan Lovren. But one thing a Liverpool should see is an opponent player in his direct eye line and Benzema was exactly standing over there. It was, and by the way I must clarify Benzema wasn't offside earlier and he definitely wasn't interrupting Carius in his uh, ball release motion. So it was a legal uh, uh, tackle or a snatch of the ball from Benzema. So yeah. What Larish does is, he tries to distribute the ball to Dejan Lovren from his hand and he releases the ball and there, 5 foot away is uh, Karim Benzema who uh, makes a tackle and the ball ends up in the back of the net. Legal goal, score 1-0 and Real Madrid, all thanks to Loris Carius, is ahead with the score 1-0. Now, now you'd think that Liverpool, Real Madrid would dominate even more from that point onward, but Liverpool had that energy in them to sh- attack even more. They started their high press game again, they were attacking even better. A series of set pieces were won by Liverpool and from one of these set pieces, a header from Van Dijk and then a follow up from Sadio Mane resulting in an easy tap in for him 
and a goal for Liverpool, the score being 1-1. Nothing Navas could do, do about it. Maybe Marcelo should have been more tighter to Mane. But yeah, all things considered, it was a good, good goal from Mane and Liverpool deservedly were equal on the scoreline again. Liverpool were buoyed by their goal and they were pressing even more. They were running like crazy, they were uh, snatching the ball, they were making Real Madrid make stupid passes. And Zidane looked pretty worried. That's when he thought, I have a marquee player on my bench. I should bring him on. He substituted Isco for uh, Gareth Bale. And Gareth Bale created history. An unbelievable bicycle kick. A bicycle kick which drew comparisons from the one of Ronaldo uh, just a few games ago in the quarterfinal against Juventus. But this was even bigger. This was even better. Because of the occasion, because of the player, because of his confidence and because of what he was brought on to do, make an impact and the, he made the greatest impact, a goal you will remember for a very very long time, a bicycle kick. It was a routine cross from Marcelo and yeah, Bale, it was a perfect height for Bale to attempt a bicycle kick but it's one thing to attempt and another thing to hit it perfectly to have Loris Caris had no chance in this one and it landed in the top right corner of the net and 2-1 the score, great goal for Real Madrid, they were buoyed by confidence, Liverpool's heads went down for the first time in the game and that is when the game was killed. A lot of people have been saying on social media here, there, everywhere, maybe they are tired of watching Real Madrid win the Champions League but they were saying that this wasn't a competitive enough game. Neutrals were complaining about uh, the difference in, you know, talents of both the teams, if you will, difference in quality. But it was a perfectly even game until that moment of brilliance from Gareth Bale. And that's what killed the game for Liverpool and that's what won Real Madrid the Champions League, Champions League for the third time in a row, a hat-trick of Champions League. Congratulations to Real Madrid, commiserations to Liverpool game went ahead. Now this is where I want to go on a bit of a detour and say Liverpool really really need to strengthen their squad for next season. If Mo Salah, Femino or Sadio Mane get injured, they just don't have a substitute and even Van Dijk for that matter. They really really need an attacking midfielder or striker and us another central defender if you will. Because yeah, they were really really struggling to make an impact substitution after that second goal for Real Madrid and they just didn't have anyone on the bench. You know who they could sign? Either Cristiano Ronaldo or Gareth Bale. If you had seen their interviews after the Champions League final win for Real Madrid, Bale said that, you know, I want to talk with my agent and we'll see what happens from there. Because I had been only injured for the first five weeks of the season and I didn't get any starts. I need to start all the games for the team I'm playing. So that's one player Liverpool could sign or Cristiano Ronaldo says, you know, I'm, let's see what happens in the future after the World Cup. Thank you to all the fans for all the memories and all that. Even I'm joking, they're just looking for better contracts and yeah, if they were to sign, Liverpool were to sign one of these players, it's definitely with Gareth Bale because yeah, he surely wasn't getting any starts this season, he truly wasn't getting any and he's a great great player not been starting week in week out. Even Ronaldo has a poor string of form from time to time for 3 or 4 games. That doesn't mean Ronaldo's dropped at any point of time. When he wants to play, he plays. Where he wants to play, he plays. The way he wants to play, he plays. That's not the case with Gareth Bale and Gareth Bale, if he really wants to start all the games, Maybe he'll try and find a team who will give them those starts and Liverpool is yeah, definitely one of those teams. Just the point is whether Klopp thinks that Bale fits into his mentality and his uh, style of play. That maybe not, maybe we'll see through the transfer window as things unfold. But yeah, coming back to the game, after the second goal for Real Madrid, we'll think Real Liverpool will push on again. They'll try and score their second goal again and, and they surely did try. But the problem here was the upright post. 
Sadio Mane had a terrific shot from outside the box with his left, left foot and it went through Ramos' legs and Kilo Navas was beaten as well but the pool got in the way and yeah, Liverpool were denied the equaliser and that was the only chance I can that was the only chance I can think of which Liverpool had in the last thirty minutes because Real Madrid controlled the game from there on and Liverpool couldn't make any impact substitutions. The only substitution they made was Milner out and Emre Can in. Solanke has scored just one goal in all the games he's played for Liverpool, so that wasn't going to help and well if you think that a good goalkeeper who's led his team who's been a part of a team that's been in the Champions League final has done a plunder you'd think that he'd be more co- in a zone more concentrated more trying to save the ball make up for his errors but no Carriage does something even worse a long range shot from Gareth Bale, it wasn't swirling that much, at least I couldn't see it in the replays, it had a bit of a dip on it and it was a really powerful shot, but you think that the goalkeeper scores it easily, it's just too easy, you know, he has to just push it down maybe, just parry it away if he wants to, even he can just jump and catch it, but no, Carries does a weak attempt of pushing it away, it hits his fingers and goes back in net. 3-1 for Real Madrid, 2 goals for Gareth Bale and you know Real Madrid really has to thank Carriers for that win in the Champions League. 2 easy easy goals were given away and the takeaway from it is a hat-trick of Champions League wins for Real Madrid. In 5 years they have won 4 Champions Leagues. That's an unbelievable achievement. This is a team which has defined an era. And I'm not talking cynically or and I'm not talking cynically or I'm not talking about Carrie's mistakes, but this team is truly a team which is defined in era. Show me a team, even in the next fifty years, who's gonna win five four Champions Leagues in the next five years, in a five year span. I don't think that's gonna happen. Given the level of competition, given the amount of competition that's growing all throughout all the leagues and all the teams which are coming up. No one team can win these many Champions Leagues in a row right now and the history of the competition suggests the same. Before this hat-trick of championships for Real Madrid, no team had won it twice in a row. So yeah, this truly is a team which has defined an era. A player won the Champions League for the fifth time in Cristiano Ronaldo. A manager won Champions League three times in a row and he won it as a player for the same club back in 2002, Zinedine Zidane for Real Madrid. All the record books were rewritten yesterday night and credit to Real Madrid. It's truly a great team. Commiserations to Liverpool. They must be really down and hurting and blaming carries maybe. But yeah, they came here as a team. They lose as a team. Just like uh, the uh, captain Henderson said after the game, Klopp, he must be ins- inconsolable with his six straight final loss. But Sometimes things don't, don't go your way and if Liverpool strengthen their squad, they can surely mount a better challenge next season. But big, big congratulations are in order for Real Madrid for this amazing, amazing title win last night. It was a great game until Gareth Bale killed it. It was a great game until Mo Salah left and Sergio Ramos won them the game. Sergio Ramos does look like a player who has a you know, superiority complex kind of thing. He even purposely delayed his pass so that Sadio Mane could tackle him and get in the books of the referee. And yeah, you could see it in his celebrations, in his demeanor that he is the boss at Real Madrid and likes to be treated with respect and he deserves the respect given what he has achieved for the club. But yeah, he might have ruined a player's chances of playing at the World Cup. A great player's chances at that. Congratulations to Real Madrid on the Champions League final win. It was a good final. Now from my next vlog, I'm going to be back to the World Cup scores and the World Cup tactics and the matchups. And I'm going to talk in detail about the history of the Football World Cup and teams that have won the great teams of the past. 
I'm going to be building up for Russia 2018, which starts on the 15th of June. We're also going to take a look at the stadiums and different places where the matches are going to be held. So do stick around for that. Many of most of the teams have announced their squads, so that's enough for me to get right into it from the next vlog on this. Subscribe to my channel, stick around for World Cup vlogs, and yeah, just keep liking, subscribing, sharing, and yeah. do your thing. Let me do my thing. Let's enjoy the World Cup.